Okay, for this acid-base titration, so this is the acid, the diluted acid, if you, if you recall from the experiment, so it's a color solution. I'm going to add in thymol blue. So this is thymol blue over here. Um, for the purpose of making it visually more appealing for this video, right? I'm going to add in more drops of thymol blue, but you know that whenever you add indicator into an experiment, you should only add at most two to three drops. Okay, so over here, I'm just going to add um, one, two, three, four. Okay, just going to add four drops so that you can see that the color is a lot more intense. Yeah, but do remember that this is actually a bad habit. Okay, so you shouldn't be adding too many drops of indicators. Okay, because indicators themselves are weak acid and bases. Okay, so uh, this is a very intense color. So I hope um, you can recognize this. You can see that at the side, uh, there's a bit of indicator and accidentally um, drop it in here. So what you can do is you can use some deionized water. Okay, but I'm not going to use too much here because if not, then my titration will be not so um, clear visually. Okay, so I'm just going to add in some deionized water just to wash them down. Okay, so you can see that this is a very nice um, intense pink. Okay, now the proper way to do titration, right, is your master hand should be holding your conical flask. Okay, and then your non-master hand should be the one um, turning the knots. Okay, so I'm just going to put like this. Okay. So I'm just going to do the titration um, very, very quickly. So uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of adjustment. I'm just going to adjust the VRAT a little bit higher so that you can um, see the swirling. Okay, so um, what you should do here is you shouldn't be adding and stopping and adding and stopping. What you should do is you should turn it to the to full speed first and then you take note of the color change. Okay, is the color change very rapid? You can see over here that um, if I stop swirling, right, um, the reaction takes place quite rapidly. Okay, so I'm just going to continue um, doing the titration. You can see slowly, uh, it turns into a shade of orange. So I'm going to add drop wise. Okay, right. I'm going to maybe accelerate it a little bit as well. Okay, or maybe I can just continue the drop wise until uh, you can see the very clear color change. Okay, so this is like orange. So a little bit of orange, if I just stop. Okay, you know that the end point of hydration is kind of like pale green. Okay, I'm just going to keep swirling. If you if you want to, you can add a little bit faster. Yeah, but there isn't a need to. Then until that there's a very subtle color change. Okay, so I'm just going to stop for a while and then I'm going to continue to swirl. I'm going to stop for a while, continue to swirl. Okay, this is a bit like orangey, uh, yellow kind of color. Okay, so you know that you're going to approach uh, the end point. So, very, very carefully, you add drop wise. Okay, you can slow down the addition until you observe that the green is disappearing very slowly. Okay, so right now you can stop. Okay, okay, you think now this, this is already overshot by a little, little bit. This is still okay. Okay, this particular color. Okay, if you, if you think now of it. Yeah, because if I add in one more drop, the Blue will be very intense. Okay, I just add one more drop for you to take a look. The blue will be quite intense. Yeah, so that color is actually okay. Can you see that this blue is now a lot more intense? Yeah, so just now, um, that end point is actually okay. But um, if you are not comfortable enough, you can do another titration by simply just uh, reading off and then maybe you um, just use that as a rough reading. Okay.